What's up, Count Gang? All right, we're back here with some more projectile motion questions. So we got this firefighter here, and he has his water hose, and it's shooting the water at a 53 degree angle, and it's going 10 meters above, above and has its initial velocity, and it wants us to know um, how far away should this hose be positioned for it to hit this position 10 meters above the ground, right? So let's go ahead and give it a solve, right? So when you have a projectile motion problem like this, usually what I like to do is try to find how long it takes to hit the ground. That's usually the first step for me. So, and to do that, let's just, uh, let's write out what our equation for y looks like. So using our kinematics equation, we know y is equal to acceleration divided by two, t squared, plus initial velocity in the y direction, times t, uh, plus its initial y position. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and expand this out. So acceleration in the y direction, that's gonna be gravity, negative 9.81. So y is equal to negative 9.81 divided by 2 t squared. Now v naught in the y direction, right? Well, let's draw a little triangle. Always useful. So here's what our water looks like. So this is 25, and this is angle is 53, right? And we're just trying to find what's its initial velocity in the y direction. That's what this one is here. So we know that, uh, you know, Sakatoa, cosine of this 53 is going to be equal to the opposite. So this is v naught y, right? over the initial velocity, which is 25. So if we can move that 25 over, 25 cosine 53 is equal to v not y, which is this line right here, basically. And then this is our initial velocity. So we can basically just substitute v not y for this, um, plus 25 cosine 53 t, all that by t. And then plus y not is starting at the ground, so zero, perfect. Uh, we're trying to find time, so all we have is y here, and we know what this y is. We want it to be 10 meters, right? So we can say 10 is equal to, this is going to be negative 4.905 t squared, and then, I don't know, what's this number going to be? Uh, it's going to be 19.97, I think, uh, t, and then what we want to do now is we want to move this 10 over to the other side. So we can use the quadratic equation, right? So let's do that. So it's going to be zero is equal to negative nine point or four point nine zero five t squared plus nineteen point nine seven t um, minus ten. Now what we can do is we can take these values and plug them into your quadratic equation. Uh, you know the quadratic equation t is going to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus four a c over 2a, where a is negative 4.905, b is 19.97, and c is negative 10. So if you plug these in, you're gonna get these two values. t is equal to either 0 0.58 or 3.49 seconds. So which one of these, right? Actually, the problem leaves it open-ended, right? It says there are two possible possibilities, can you get them both? Um, so these are two possibilities right here for a time. And if, if, you, you know, if you're like me, your first instinct is that you're gonna think the water's gonna go up, it's gonna heat, reach its peak, and then it's gonna come back down. But another possibility is that the, the, the water is actually somewhere right here, and then it goes up, and it hits like that. See, so these are two possibilities. Here's you know, x1, and then this would be x2. Those are the two numbers that we can get out of this, and this is the smaller time, and this is the bigger time. So let's go ahead and solve and find what these positions are, you know? So, to do that, let's do our uh, kinematic equation, but in the x direction, right? So same thing as this, x is equal to a over two t squared plus v naught x t, it's x naught. So it starts at zero, so no need to worry about x naught. And acceleration in the x direction, there's no, um, this isn't like perfect conditions, so there's no forces acting on it to make it accelerate or you know slow down, basically. So there's no acceleration in the x direction. It's just gravity pushing up and down, which is only for y. So that simplifies it to x is equal to v naught x t. So similar to what we did here, we're trying to instead find this, we're trying to find this line. This is v naught in the x direction. So uh, we can go and say that you know sine of 53 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is v naught x, right? This is the, the velocity in the x direction. And then this is over 25 over the hypotenuse. So you again, you move it over 25 sine 53 is equal to v naught x. 
So x then becomes 25 sine of 53 times time. Uh, and we're trying to find for x, and we have this value of t here. So basically all you have to do now is you have to plug in these two values of t for this equation here. So if, if you plug in 0 0.58 into t for this equation, 25 times sine of 53 times time, which is 0 0.58, for this case you're going to get 8.8 .8 meters. And if you do it for 3.49, you're going to get that it is 52.4 meters. Those are your two possible numbers from this equation. Uh, so yeah, you can say that x1 here, this is just 8.8 .8 meters away, and then this is 52.4 meters away. Those are your two uh, possibilities for setting up your water hose. So yeah, that's a pretty cool problem. Uh, that's how you solve it. Uh, good luck on your physics homework, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, yeah. Just uh, stick around if you have any problems uh, that you want to stick with, because I have a lot of physics problems. I have a lot of monsters and math problems, right? So. Stick around, I'm your guy. All right, see you next time.